Good afternoon. Uh, it's 4.30 in the afternoon on a beautiful late March day. Um, it's hot. It was, uh, it was only about two or three degrees when I left the house this morning. And I got to this spot just before 6 a.m., still dark, uh, no wind, everything was glass calm. Really, really beautiful morning. And yeah, the plan was to, to hit into some fish. Uh, we're in a spot that we know has good winter form. And, you know, of course. Cool. Oh. Um, okay. Might seem a little bit weird there, but I had a phone call while I was talking to you. Um, at that point, I was just about to tell you, I've had a fish and I've got him sitting in the net down there. And uh, yeah, I was interrupted by the phone call. Kevin was just excited because he left and I finally got a fish. And while I'm talking to him on the phone, I'm letting him know like, hey, I wanna get this out for the camera so I can get this fish back. He hangs up and I hear a beep beep. And I look back, rod doubles around um, the right hand rod. The first fish was on the left hand rod. Hook came out right after I put him in the net. So I blasted it back out while I'm sitting here. The right hand rod goes and I've got another fish in the net. So, good thing I had uh, two nets while I'm running two rods. So right now, I have my first fish in the net, uh, sitting down there comfortably. The left hand rod is back out on the spot. The right hand rod is now out because I have a second fish in the second net. So before anything else happens with that one rod I still have out there, um, I'm gonna bring these fish up and we're gonna get a look at each of them. So excited. It was well worth sitting here for 11 hours. I'm so worried the second rod's gonna go. I'm getting liners again. So, uh, yeah, let's see these fish. so excited right now so this being the end of March um, this fish so this is the first one I, I landed today um, this is the second carp for me for 2021 uh, the first one I got on New Year's Day fishing with Dave and then uh, I was here a few weeks later in this spot fishing with Kevin and I had one fish but it came off so right now as far as carp go <laughs> I'm not doing too great I've had now uh, five fish on and I've landed three oh, what a gorgeous fish it's got a neat shape to him I would suspect that this fish one day is gonna be really big but just gorgeous scales of course he's full of energy now because he was sitting in the net a while but there we go an absolutely gorgeous March River Common oh. okay I'm gonna get this one back get the other one out and we'll have a look at him Okay, fish number two. I gotta get the hook out because he, he just sat in the net waiting for me here. Oh, that just fell out. Oh, wow, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh. So while that fish seemed like it was a little bit more deep bodied, uh, this one's a lot more long and lean. So they're not big fish, but you know, when you're not catching, uh, to get a couple in a row that quick, it's pretty exciting. 
nice uh, long lean common here. I don't know if it comes across uh, very well, but I'm super excited right now. Like I said, not big, but still, this this little guy here fought like an absolute demon. Um, took me twice as long to get this one in as it did the first one. And both of these fish fought way harder than the one that I lost earlier, so... Um, you know, who knows what I had there, but... Yeah, what an absolutely gorgeous fish. Uh, you know, no signs of leeches or anything like that, so... Looks like it's in really good shape. Neat little scale pattern near the tail there. Um, I'll go over the rigs shortly. Uh, right now I'm just excited to have had a fish. So I'm going to get this one back. And then I'll show you the rig that I got this fish on before I put it back out there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, after that first fish... Oh, man, I'm so, so pumped right now. Um, after that first fish, while I was playing the second one... The, uh, the first fish in the net shook the hook. So I was able to put that rod back out. So I'll have to show you that one after. Um, but in case I forget to, it is a hinge stiff rig popped up about this high with a pink pinana pop-up. And I've, that's been my roving rod today. Um, I'm just casting that as a single wherever I think there might be a little bit of activity. So if I'm getting liners uh, you know, on this rod, this is kind of my, my banker rod that I was expecting things to happen with. Um, if I start getting liners on this one, or I see a show, uh, I can cast that one to where I think I might be able to pick up a bite. Um, and that, this is the one I lost the fish on this rig uh, earlier. And uh, once Kevin left, I switched and put my, my roving rod with that hinge stiff rig um, kind of over to where he was fishing. And that was the first one to actually go and get me a fish, uh, like in the net. This one was still sitting out there uh, once I got that fish in the net, but I was still getting liners the whole time I was playing that fish. And yeah, it just, it went, it went. I, I think I already told you, I was talking to Kevin on the phone. I looked back and it just started jumping and going crazy. And uh, yeah, I, I'm so thrilled to bits that I just had two fish. Um, but this rig is just a very simple setup. I have a tiny piece of lead core uh, this is basically what I normally have set up for a solid bag because the last time I was out I was using solid bags. Uh, so a little piece of lead core, only about 12 inches, with a 90 gram inline lead and a very short supple hook link material. I think this is, what is this? I forget what it is, it's in my tackle box. Um, but supple braid, no coating. A uh, little split shot in the middle. That is a size 4 Universal Perfection Monster Carp Tackle hook. I have a little uh, kicker on there, a quarter kicker, a bait screw, just set up as a German rig, uh, and that is a Shimano TX1 banana and pineapple pop-up. Um, just a, you know, a nice bright bait. The water is gin clear today. It's been super sunny, and we think that's why we were probably not getting any activity through the day, uh, with the exception of that one fish that I lost. Um, but I just figured having a bright bait out there a little bit up off the bottom you know it's worked for us here in the past and on a clear day a bright pink and a bright yellow maybe that fish doesn't have to find um, the sticks that I'm putting out with this line uh, or be looking around very hard it can just kind of mosey on over and pick up the bright bait and it looks like it worked so this rig has been getting coupled with a PVA stick uh, just the random mix that I put together in my my bucket um, there's monster carp corn pellets in there. There's um, other types of pellets in there that are just kind of randoms out of the bottom of the bags. A bunch of chop boilies, pineapple boilies, um, some pink fruit um, boilies. And there's some of the, what was the liquid I put? Oh, I put in the, um, the Munch Baits pineapple seed liquid, like the bait syrup. Uh, that's kind of what's glugged over top of all the stuff in my stick mix bucket and it worked so I am gonna put this out there I had a couple of liners right after I put that one back out while I was showing you the fish 
but no, nothing since then. So maybe if I can get this out there, you know, it's getting later. Um, the, it's starting to cool down already, even though the sun's not down below the horizon. It's the, the temperature's definitely lower than it was a half an hour ago. So I'm going to get this back out so I have two rods on my spots. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get another fish. Um, really can't complain. Didn't really think anything was going to happen, and then to lose a fish, I was so ridiculously gutted. You know, Kevin left early. Um, aside from the fact that I cooked myself a really good lunch in the Ridge Monkey today, uh, probably the best fajitas I've ever made myself. Um, other than that, it, today's kind of sucked. You know, but a good lunch, um, you know, two baits on the right spot at the right time, and boom, fish. So yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, whipped back out into the into the spot and see what happens. I missed him. fish jumped right on top of where it hit. You see that? No, I didn't. I didn't not a, not I even a it. foot away from where it landed, a fish come up. Wow. I wonder if that was the one that was just nibbling. That was the first show I've seen all day. Wow. Yeah, that, it, it hit and then... <sighs> well, things started to get a little bit quiet, but uh, I sat back and uh, I actually had a phone call with uh, my buddy Anthony out in Saskatchewan from the Saskatchewan Carp Kings. And, you know, we were, we were talking about the last bite and how that went. Um, he's still waiting to get on, the, get on the water because of the ice. But, you know, I'm, I'm so stoked to, to see what kind of fish he gets into this year because there's some amazing fish in Saskatchewan. So yeah, just just talking to Anthony on the on a vid chat and 
all of a sudden, oh, oh, I had to go. <laughs> the line just ripped off. And uh, yeah, this is a better fish, it's a much better fish. probably twice the size of the ones that I had earlier. There we go. Nice heavy mid-double. I, I wouldn't go more than 16, 17 pounds with this one. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Chestnutty color. Fought like stink. Wrapped up in the other line. Really, really quality fish. I've had them sitting in the net for about 20 minutes. Uh, while I chatted with another angler that came by to, to see what was going on. Oh. So yeah, that's three uh, to make it to the net. Lost one and I just missed one a few minutes ago. Um, and just as I put that last cast out, yeah, a, a really big one jumped right beside it. So, you know, I, I was going to start packing it up, but I think I'm going to stick it out for another hour or two. I'm gonna get this fish back and uh, you know maybe if I'm lucky I'll get another bite but we'll, ha we'll have to see. So excited. gonna have to sort this rod out. It's got uh, some really bad line twists in it. But I got a line back out there um, because now I've seen a show out there. This one was cast out and as it hit the water, as I'm... Oh my god, I got another, another bite there already. Okay. 
get that rig out. Oh, getting liners already. So, a little short and fat. Absolutely gorgeous. They've all got this nice dark chestnutty color, but they all look really, really nice. Really, really healthy looking fish. Oh man, so, so happy. Well, a um, little bit of a change of scenery here all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, that's because the footage you just watched was from about a month ago. And I forgot to film an ending. So after that fourth fish that you saw, uh, I did stick it out a little while longer. And I did have a fifth fish. I'll put the picture of that up right now. Um, it was a good fish. You know, nothing was huge that day, but they were, they were all good size and I had a lot of fun. Um, for some reason I had so much fun that I didn't turn the camera on for the last fish or to do an ending. I've gone through all the memory cards, checked everything, none of my files show an ending. So I'm ending it now. Yeah, great session and uh, there was a lot more filming done that week so I have a number of other videos coming down the line from that spot, from that week with a few special treats mixed in. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.